In today's age, telephone banking is critical to the lifeblood of the bank, and this was a big challenge for us in the past. So First United is facing some of the common challenges that we're seeing with a lot of our clients where they've got a growing demand from a collaboration standpoint, but their infrastructure hasn't kept up with that pace. Every bank's got a call center. And, and in this particular case, they had four of them. We've been running the Cisco Core Manager for over 10 years, but we're many versions behind. Recently, First United Bank merged with the American Bank of Texas, a similar sized company to ours. Uh, so compounding our issues with our phone system, they were using uh, an alternative system. They were using Microsoft Link. Um, obviously, there was going to be some compatibility challenges there to keep those two systems working together. Um, overall, to go from the old platform to the new and to bring the new bank in, this was really a 14-week project. Um, and typically, you know, something in this endeavor would, would take six months to deliver one. The director that I was now working with uh, very verbally indicated that I, he didn't see how he was going to manage it. They managed this company with three people, an IT director and, and two engineers. That was really a stretch when it was 32 branches, but now they're close to 100 branches. The staffing has not increased. Uh, so we built out the enterprise platform in Cisco architecture, so we deployed on-premise inside multiple data centers, gave them a full HA environment, and then started migrating the branches over, right? So that meant for all the new locations, we're rolling new Cisco phones to the desktop, we're bringing Jabber out to connect the agents, and we're really tying in that call center into the Contact Center Express environment. So we deployed all new Cisco phones for the rest of the environment um, using migration strategies and some of the, like the migration FXS process to go ahead and take the old phone off, put the new phone on, and make it really an easy transition. We have been in that project now for about three months and, and I think it's scheduled to complete in June and, and it will have, um, it will all be Cisco. It will be uh, uh, easy to manage, a lot of it under a single pane of glass. GDT were instrumental in helping build this project for us and putting together a schedule, how we'll migrate the phones from the old systems to the new and doing this with all with minimal impact to the customers. We take a lot of time in the build up to a project so that we dedicate a project manager who's then gonna go in and help build things like communication plans, uh, testing plans, and really how are we gonna go out and make sure that we're not just worried about the IP addresses and the dial plan and, and the nuts and the bolts of the equation, but really more about the emotional change that the users are gonna go through. The customer satisfaction with the new phone system has been greatly improved. We get nothing but compliments about how much easier these collaboration tools that have been part of this project have made their lives. Uh, but that next evolution of their collaboration is putting in the collaboration edge. So now I can take those WebEx and Spark and hybrid components, the, the, the best of the cloud, and once we deploy that, we bring them on-premise. So now we take, for video and for transcoding, we're doing all of that in the WebEx and the Spark cloud, but we're using all their call control engines on-premise. So we've really built a really hybrid, best-of-breed solution um, that allows them to scale and their whole enterprise to, to communicate and collaborate with ease, right? And that's really what our job is.